of clarity a very wise person said, if you don't have have a burning desire for something, for anything, you don't achieve that which you seek. Hmm. Great question. Yeah, I think. No, um, actually, I got that off your Facebook page. You you said that, man. <laughs> Those are <laughs> like, your words. I'm quoting that you. Familiar. <laughs> Absolutely. And, you know, um, and here's why I would say that if you talk about the future and you talk about your goals, your aspirations and your desires, and you delve deep into them and you focus on them, they're only going to come true because you've created the existence. That is, these things can't be in the world without you. So uh, it oftentimes is a follow up to that statement you read from social media is, you know, think about the things and the people and the costs that happen based on you not achieving your goals. If you Mm. aren't putting your desires out there, putting out your goals, putting out your aspirations, think about who suffers at the cost of you not showing up. And to me, you know, I don't, I don't work off of negativity. I don't work off of negative reinforcement really well, but to me that matters because I feel like when I know that other people rely on my success, then I'm willing to work harder because it's not just me who's expecting it. It's the people that I could serve that get me out of bed every morning. And I think that's a, I just think that's a powerful thing to think of it in regards to your goals, your wishes, and your desires. I know everyone's got their own demons and I know that everyone's struggling with something. In fact, the safest place in anyone's world is their own mind because they don't have to express, share, and say Mm. what's really going on in here. But at the same time, too, it's, it doesn't really matter. Um, you can show up terrified, but yet you can still jump off the high dive, and it's okay. You can show up terrified, but you can still jump off the high dive. Absolutely. Absolutely.